Good morning. Good morning. I'm sure your head is spinning with all kinds of new ideas to take back home. I, this is, uh, I think, my 10th uh, or so charge summit, and uh, you always have so many things that you think about at the end of this week. Uh, so I'm very happy that you've joined me for uh, one last thing before you head off. I hope to plant one last seed, one final little kernel of inspiration uh, as you go back. Now, last week, we published our first ever edition of the RSA Digital Risk Report. And you can read the full report on rsa.com, but the, ref the results of that study clearly reflect the trends that we have discussed this week. First, we see digital initiatives are rippling across the industry. Almost nine out of 10 respondents in our study indicated they were in active digital transformation projects. Next, we feel the winds of change. 88% of the respondents in our survey expected their risk profiles to change. Almost 50% said it would be very significant over the next two years. And finally, we hear how challenging it is to balance objectives. When we ask for priorities in the next two years in our survey, every facet of risk was someone's main priority. And these insights are validation that digital transformation is changing the way we live as consumers, as employees, as security risk professionals. And so for the past several months, we have been evangelizing our concepts of digital risk. Uh, and you heard Rohit talk about the new why, uh, and we all feel that digital transformation is changing our world. But risk is not just along for the ride. It is not just a passenger. It is a driver. And that's the idea that inspired my keynote for this year. Every year I've had a different kind of theme. Uh, I've used music, I've used ghosts, uh, even the Wild West, if, uh, if you remember those. And last year it was physics. Uh, but this year I thought the idea of managing risk effectively in today's world uh, can be a vehicle to propel your organization forward towards its goals. And it triggered me into this kind of thought process. And so surrounded here in or Orlando by the magical world of make-believe, I wanna take you on a trip to a thrilling, bustling metropolis where you realize it truly is a small world. So welcome to Digiville, where data comes to feel safe. Now, Digiville is not a, some far off place in a galaxy far, far away. And you actually walk its streets every day. You're helping your organization build its own Digiville with emerging technologies that optimize existing internal processes or create entirely new business models. And like all great cities, Digiville has, is a home to many neighborhoods and districts. So let's first take a look at the lay of the land. At the heart of Digiville is the downtown area, data, where all the action takes place. Now, obviously, this is an area of a constantly growing population. And it's surrounded by different districts, like the Business Operations District, which has the key commercial centers. Workforce is the blue-collar area of Digiville, but it is undergoing an extensive renovation. Uh, citizens transition from a sedimentary routine to more of a dynamic work-anywhere lifestyle. The fashionable marketing borough has the reputation of being the fun part of Digiville with its clever campaigns and viral videos, but it's really a, a crucial ingredient to Digiville's growth. Now we have some other areas like legacy IT with large expansive estates mingled with pockets of up and coming modern villas and different types of housing projects. And the, on the outskirts of legacy IT is industrial IoT, affectionately called by Digivillians the OT. Uh, this used to be a remote suburb of Digiville, but there's this tremendous revival as connectivity to urban centers have been opened up. And it borders the emerging consumer-oriented district of IoT. Now that sector of Digiville offers a very promising future. Now I'm wondering, I'm sure you're wondering, where would I live and work in this wonderful world of Digiville? Well, you have some exciting choices. Responsible for the safety of uh, data and Digivillians, the most famous area of the security operations ward is the first responder row. The compliance district 
contains major governmental buildings, city hall, the courthouse, and so forth. And then home to Digiville's internal city management services, the risk management zone has city planning assessor offices. And for those of you looking for something ultra chic uh, place to live, you can always check out the DevOps district. <laughs> so there's a major revitalization project going there. It's, it's a, a very chic place to live. Now all big cities have their suburbs and Digiville is no exception. So the customer district has the airport, major transportation hubs for uh, customers to come visit Digiville. The partners area is a key suburb of Digiville, has a lot of niche markets and specialty skills, products and services. It's a very cool place. I know many of you live in that area. And last but not least, the Regulators District. Not many people like to visit that uh, part, but it is home to all of the foreign consulates who have a vested interest in Digiville's growing economy. Oh, I forgot, there's, there's one last part. Uh, I don't suggest you spend a lot of time there, but an unfortunate result of Digiville's prosperity is the CD Adversaries neighborhood, uh, known for its rampant crime and disreputable businesses. And you've heard of the wrong side of the tracks. In Digiville, they call this the corrupted sector of the tracks. It's a hard drive joke. I think one person got it. Uh, but it's, it's pretty impressive. I mean, this is, a, this is a growing metropolis. It's a big city. Getting around must really be a pain. Well, luckily, like the Disney parks, Digiville has a top-notch transportation solution. Getting around this sprawling metropolis is easy with the state-of-the-art DRM Transit Authority. Now the DRMTA in Digiville connects points across the city making navigation convenient, easy, efficient. And you've heard the phrase, you can't get there from here. Well, the DRMTA motto is, we can get you there. So I mentioned earlier that risk management is not a passenger on your digital transformation. And this is the result, a high-speed answer for your business to go places quickly and securely. Now, like all transit systems, D the DRMTA has multiple lines and, and loops that traverse the city with lots of stations, uh, giving you lots of uh, flexible options as you enjoy this cutting edge metropoli uh, metropolitan wonder. So let's first take a uh, look at the loops. The risk loop goes right through the heart of the city. Passes through most all the, the neighborhoods because we all know everyone needs to be involved in some way to manage risk related to digital business. The compliance loop is similar but goes out to that regulator district. And closely related to these loops is the controls loop. And lastly but not least is the digital product loop. There's even a DevOps express line that includes high speed uh, nonstop service for agile travelers. So these loops represent the key life cycles within managing digital risk. Risk, compliance, controls, and now the new entry, digital product management, are, under, are ongoing processes that are fundamental to the identification, assessment, and treatment of risk. So now we also have some lines that traverse the city. Aptly named, the customer line connects customers with the business operations and marketing districts. The cyber line connects adversaries through, goes through security operations and connects up with risk and legacy IT. The partner line goes all the way across the city with numerous stops. We have a workforce line that connects the workforce, data, and partner districts. Uh, the asset line starts in the legacy IT, ends up in risk management, makes a bunch of stops. And then finally, we have a new line called the IoT line connecting the IoT district with the digital product loop. Now it looks expansive, but these lines represent specific processes within your organization, but they cross the loops at various points. So just like you use a real transit system, the idea is that you may start taking a line into the city, but you have to use the loop to get around to some of the other lines. And that's really fundamental about what digital risk management is, is how do you connect those? And so there are stations along the line giving a bunch of different options to get on the different lines and visit uh, parts of the city. So the point is, is while you have individual processes to manage customer relationships or your partner ecosystem or your cybersecurity, you have to intersect with other parts of your digital risk strategy. And now, of course, we have 
to have a, a central hub, that's Grand Issues Station. Uh, this is the state-of-the-art facility where most of the lines pass through and offering the transfer services, but it's really there to manage issues identified through digital risk management processes. So it's pretty impressive, isn't it? But you know, it, it didn't happen overnight. Digivil is a constantly changing city. You don't just start building stations and laying track without a plan. So a, a lot of thinking went in actually into this transit system. Managing risk in the digital world is not a haphazard affair. Your organization is becoming more complex by the day. You have more data. It's strewn about more locations with more hands on it, more eyes looking on it, more people depending on it. And so when I developed this concept, I really wanted to show how connected managing risk in this digital world is. You can't have parts of your, your strategy restricted by we can't get there from here. Each of the lines and loops intersect. They allow Digivillians to get where they want to go. So let's take a, a closer look at a few of these. So the risk loop is one of the core routes for the transit system. It has lots of different intersections, and you'll see some of the unique things for risk management, like scenario modeling, decision models, risk quantification, but you also see all of the different transfer stations as well. Notice the ones that connect to the digital product loop and the IoT line. Those are the newest additions to the DRMTA, because digital products are disrupting the status quo. Inserting risk management into the software development life cycle, especially in DevOps scenarios, is becoming an imperative. The risk management approach to DevOps has to be as agile as the methodologies implemented in IT and expected by the business. And when you look at IoT, the sheer size of IoT can be frightening, depending on what you're using it for. Having millions of consumer devices with your brand name on it, or Running your industrial control systems uh, of your business every day is a significant opportunity, but it's also a significant risk. Uh, one of the favorite lines I like to think about when I put this together was the digital product loop. Um, and I think it's a really interesting element within this strategy because it's a bit new on the radar, but how digital products interact with your security and risk methodologies is critical. So things like DevOps and consumer IoT and mobile apps are examples where risk management has to intersect with your digital product management lifecycle. And you notice the DevOps express line, while it's kind of built for IT, risk and security have to ride that line as well. So let's take a look at a couple of the, of the lines. So the cyber line ventures into that dangerous adversary's neighborhood, it traverses the city, branches out into legacy IT, ultimately connecting at the risk loop at the cyber risk analytics station. And if you look at another line, the partner line has stations specific to vendor management, but like the cyber line, it connects multiple places. Why? Well, because today's business models require the use of partners in a vast ecosystem of collaboration and data sharing and resource sharing and so forth. But when you look at some of the, where these lines intersect, you get some interesting parts of your strategy. So if you combine cyber and partner lines, you have intersections like UEBA or monitoring um, partner-hosted cloud environments. How does those elements of security fit into your risk management strategy? And if you add in the workforce line, you have another intersection, another dimension to things like UEBA? How do you distinguish internal employees from contractors, or do you need to? And you certainly have to deal with things like uh, the extended workforce from your partners, or how is that uh, workforce um, trained and made aware of risks? And when you put this whole big picture together, it looks really complex. Those are all of the stations, all the lines. But how could it not be? Today's digital business is, is complex. It is expansive. Managing risk across Digivil is not a simple challenge. It's not a simple solution. There are crossroads like data privacy with, and key connections like breach management. If every one of your lines will have stations that are unique to your processes, but there's also connections to the other lines, and that's what makes a transit system valuable. So when you think about transit systems, they have predictable stops, and they get you where you need to go. 
The stations aren't built out in the middle of nowhere. They're meaningful to the city that they serve. They offer citizens convenient transportation to key locations. And so like a good uh, transit system, your digital risk management strategy has to go where the people, and in this case, the data are. You have to understand where your business wants to go, where they're going to go often, and that dialogue with the business is critical in figuring out what your transit system looks like. Another good thing about good transit systems is they're, they're not a hassle to get on and off. Most large cities have the monthly passes, the convenient methods to streamline access. The object is to get people moving, not to get them stuck in lines. And so the same goes for your risk and security processes. You want your business to be ready to come to you knowing you can help them get where they want to go. You have to provide them with easy, convenient access to resources, whether it's policies or standards, whether it's just help in understanding the risks related to their objectives. And finally, good transit systems monitor their activity. Large cities have these operation, city, uh, operation centers that know what is going on at all times. They have proactive maintenance schedules, crisis response capabilities, well-established procedures. Um, this is the operation center in the Hong Kong MTR, one of the world's most sophisticated transit systems. So wouldn't it be really nice to have an operation center like this to give you instant information about risks across the digital business? So that's what we at RSA envision. We see a future where it may not be all in one room and all on one screen, but it's a future where security operations, identity management, fraud, integrated risk management, those teams can converge to provide visibility into your digital business. And using that visibility, you can then apply meaningful context to derive insights and prioritize your risks. I've said before, don't worry about risk, act on risk. And automation plays a key role to streamline processes to act, and RSA has big plans to enable you on your digital journey. And that's really the essence of our vision, an integrated approach aligned with your business strategy, connecting the different parts of your Digivil, and keeping your citizens on the move. We talked about this a little bit earlier when, when Rohit gave his keynote about our vision to help you build this unified approach to managing digital risk that addresses the critical components of digital business. Your customers are priority number one. Uh, we already help protect millions of users and over a billion consumers worldwide. And today, the privacy of your customers' data, your responsiveness to crisis, all factor into your digital reputation with your customers. Trust, as you've heard, is core to this new world. And that trust must extend across your ecosystem. And you've seen our plans of extending risk management capabilities beyond your borders, whether it's enabling a third-party governance or monitoring the security of your cloud and hosted environments. You have to have that visibility into what your partners are doing with your data while they're helping you build your business. And you also need to keep pace with the digital transformation changing how your workforce executes. We've seen organizations uh, for decades now use RSA to provide secure, convenient access across infrastructure and applications. We can help you inspire everyone to own risk. And finally, the explosion of devices has created a complex, unending attack surface. It's, not, it's undeniable. But we can help you hunt for those predators on your network and help you protect what matters most. But these are the pillars of your digital business. We understand the challenges ahead and the need for integrated strategies. And so you saw with Rohit and Grant and Zuli and others giving our vision of the future of our products this week. You've also learned from your peers on how RSA's products and services are, can be used to be successful. And you've seen how our partner ecosystem can blend with your own efforts to move you forward. I hope you can sense our passion and excitement for what the future holds. As your organizations take on the opportunity to build their own Digivil, we can be there right with you, helping you with the visibility insights and actions necessary for your own digital risk management transit system. So when you walk into your office on Monday, I hope you take a little inspiration from our visit to Digivil. Uh, and then I just touched on a few of the lines and the stations. Uh, there's way too much to, to cover in our short time. So luckily you can download 
this visual. Uh, the URL's right there. Take it a look. Kick it around with your team. Compare it with your organization's needs. What are the neighborhoods in your Digiville? I'm sure you'll find when you look at it, you'll find lines that you'll need to shore up or stations I didn't even think about or stations that I included and you're like, what was he thinking? But it might, it might spur up a, a conversation. And that's really the main objective. Ask yourself, what is the next station I need to build in my digital risk strategy? What line needs some maintenance? What part of my Digiville is isolated and in the need of a good transit service? Remember those attributes of a good transit system, reliability, easy access, monitoring. So when your business leaders throw a tough challenge your way, borrow from the Digital Risk Management Transit Authority's motto, and you can answer them with confidence and say, we can get you there.